Howdy. Hello. How's everybody doing? So, I wanted to start this page to take everybody onto uh, my journey to becoming a nurse practitioner. My name is Joe, and i um, been an LPN for years and years and years. I finally went back and got my BSN, and boy did it take forever. Don't want to say how many years I was an LPN before I got my BSN. Uh, let's just say I look pretty good for 60, but um, anyway, so right now, the big debate in my life, my life, my life, is... Um, should I become a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner or should I get my acute care nurse practitioner? Either one uh, I think would make me very happy. I could see myself um, doing either one, you know. I mean, you know, both have their benefits and both are... You know, both have a lot of jobs in my area. So, I will say, I have more experience in mental health and with mental health nursing than I do in acute care settings. But, the idea of acute care appeals to me because there's so, such a wide variety of jobs that you can do in acute care. I could work in cardiology, and, you know, it'd be fun to be able to see patients in a uh, cardiology uh, office and then also round inpatient. Because I know a lot of acute care MPs are doing that. Or neurology. That sounds fun. But the one that sounds like the most fun to me, that sounds the most appealing to me, uh, would be a nurse practitioner hospitalist job right so the problem with that though for me and and uh, having young kids is that a lot of the jobs I'm looking up online require 12 hour shifts and not only that but they're like seven on and seven off you know on the days that uh, I work I, I, I wouldn't be able with 12 hour shifts be able to pick up my kids and see them so it'd be a week uh, between seeing them uh, and then on my days off I'd be picking up the kids and uh, uh, they'd be staying with me during my days off which is fine but um, I just don't know how good of a, a balance a work-life balance I would have with that but, but like I said there's a variety of jobs um, psych MP you know there are many many jobs posted I live in a large city and there are many jobs posted for psych MPs and there's definitely a need uh, in my area but I just don't know if I would want to do psych every single day um, for the rest of my life I'm not saying you couldn't ever switch you know specialties or uh, add another certification later on, but let's just say the one I choose is going to be the one I, I do as a career for the rest of my life. I want to dedicate all my time studying uh, for whichever area I go into. So now I'm just debating. Do I go to Psych MP? I know the pay is a little bit more. Obviously, you know, pay isn't everything, and um, it's definitely not something I'm doing for the pay. Um, there are jobs as an RN I could actually make more. Uh, you know, being a director in, in the area I work in, um, I could actually make equal, if not more. So it's not about pay, but but you know, that's definitely an incentive to do the psych over the acute care. Uh, now, granted, the, the pay is only slightly higher. Um, from what I've seen anyway so I just I don't know which one I want to do or what I want to be when I grow up so to speak you know I'm I'm 60 um, I'm an old man now but um, 
so yeah so tell me what you think um, if you are a nurse practitioner how did you get to that decision um, because again I could see myself doing both a lot of people say to me well Joe uh, you should pick you know whatever your, your passion is but I have a, I have a passion for uh, a lot of different areas uh, of healthcare um, and medicine and, and I could see myself helping people with mental health issues that is very fascinating you know learning more about Respiradol and Seroquel and medications like that uh, um, psychoactive medications but um, at the same time I, I feel like I would learn a broader amount of, of uh, I'd have a broader amount of knowledge with the acute care MP um, so and then there's always the family nurse practitioner <laughs> I, I didn't completely count that one out anyway tell me what you think and uh, I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming up um, just documenting my journey maybe somebody out there cares I don't know anyway y'all have a good one